Hi guys and welcome to another video where today we're going to be predicting the scores and results of week 35 of this season's Premier League. Now looking back at week 34, we, there was a bit of a mixed bag really. I think you came away with three correct results and I came away with four correct results. However, I came away with three perfect scores. So that gave me 10 points and you three points. Yep. In the comments section... A uh, bit of a mixed bag in there as well, really. Not, it wasn't a great game week for, for most players. However, James Carson came away with a magnificent eight points. So, James, well done. Looking at the overall scores, I've now got 239 points after that, you know, 10-point haul from last week. And you, after that three-point haul, you've got 232 points. So, that puts me seven points ahead. We are actually in the middle of a, sort of a, a midweek fixtures yeah. as well, but there's only four fixtures. There was one last night, a match tonight, and two games tomorrow night. We actually put our predictions on Instagram, and you can actually see those predictions at Bluebird Legend, and remember to follow. And, uh, yeah. and as if you're on your computer as well, remember to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any further videos. But enough of that, let's do some predictions and move on to week 35. Okay, so first up we have West Brom versus Liverpool. Now, Liverpool, they're in a final run of form at the moment. They, they're doing great, but it looks like they're going to qualify for the Champions League now. It looks like they've cemented third place, definitely. Maybe they could uh, bounce up into second, but who knows. Um, West Brom, they are bottom of the league, but if they do want to stay up, then they have to win all four matches, and if they lose today, then they are relegated. Pretty much so. Yeah. However, they did have a magnificent win against Manchester United, of yes, course. that was... Looked, looked very good there in that, that, that fixture. They did on Sunday. However, but, yeah. They are at home. Home form isn't great at all. And for that reason, I can see Liverpool winning 3-0. Yeah, they did, of course, beat Manchester United on the weekend at Old Trafford, which was yeah. a, a shock. For the bookies, I know that this was one of the biggest upsets in Premier League history, in fact. Um, I can't see them beating Liverpool, even though they, they are home and they are fighting for their lives. I think it's just going to be too much. Liverpool on fire with their you know, brilliant front three and uh, steady midfield as well. So I can see this one ending in a 2-0 victory for the Reds. OK, next up we've got Watford against Crystal Palace. Watford last week surprisingly really losing against Huddersfield. And Crystal Palace grinding out a good win last week. And that, that has taken them up to 16th position. Watford, you can't really predict their form. That you know, you think they're going to do well, and then they lose, and you think they're going to lose, and then they do well. Crystal Palace, Zaha scoring a couple of goals last week. I think their quality is beginning to kind of shine through, and I can actually see Palace going to Vicarage Road and winning two one in a narrow, narrow win. I totally agree with that. I think I don't think there's going to be many goals in this game, mainly because of the two clubs are in the same position. But I can see Palace winning 1-0, maybe at the 90th minute. Okay, moving on to Sunday, we have Stoke versus Burnley now. Burnley, Sean Dyche is trying to push them for that final Europa League spot. And, well, um, seventh, no, the sixth place team are now going to qualify for Europe because of who's probably going to win. the Because um, cause Man City won the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup is going to be won by a team that's already qualified for the Champions League. So... Sean Dyche is going to push for that sixth spot, and then Arsenal probably won't be in uh, Europe next season. But anyway, um, Stoke, under under uh, Paul Lambert, I think they're doomed now. I don't think they're going to be able to get out of get out of there. And for that reason, I think it's going to be, there's not going to be any goals in this game, really, but a narrow 1-0 Burnley victory, maybe at the last minute. Mm, yeah, Burnley are on a fine yeah. run of form at the moment. Stoke went away to West Ham last week and they did go a goal up, but they just couldn't hang on to that lead, of course. Yeah. Andy Carroll popping up with a, I think it was a 90th minute equaliser. And of course, um, his old England colleague, uh, Peter Crouch, scoring the first goal for, for Stoke. However, Stoke do look doomed now. They really should have won if they wanted to get out of this yeah. at, at West Ham. They're up against a very strong, you know, informed Burnley team. I think they're actually going to, you know, they are fighting for their lives. Burnley, I, I, I think they're going to be, you know, I think this is going to end in stalemate. And I can see this one ending up 1-1. Interesting. Next up, we have Arsenal versus West Ham at half one. 
Um, Arsenal, they seem to be playing really well at home, but away they're just dreadful. And as this is a home fixture, I can see Arsenal winning this one. West Ham, up and down form. It looks like Moyes is going to go at the end of the season. Well, really the fans want the board to leave, but who knows. And all I can... And for that reason, I can see a narrow Arsenal 1-0 victory. Yeah, Arsenal last week away to Newcastle, losing 2-1, of course. At home, though, they're a different proposition, a di different kettle of fish. Coming up against a West Ham team that's... They're stuttering. They are, they are down there. I think they're going to be fine. Maybe one more victory will, will secure uh, Premier yeah, League status for next victory. But... With the, really? Looking at the teams below them, I, I can see you know West Ham fairly yeah. comfortable. However, going away to Arsenal, I think the Arsenal team, it's going to have too much quality for them. I can see the Gunners running out 3-1 victors in this fixture. Next up, we've got Manchester City against Swansea. Manchester City, of course, are champions now. Swansea, four from bottom. They've got to be really careful yeah. now, Swansea. However, they've got this fixture against Man City, which is going to be difficult, but then they've got teams in and around them. I think they, they've got the likes of Southampton and Stoke coming up in the next few games where they, they'd hope to pick up maximum yeah. points. Going away to Manchester City, I can actually see Swansea giving them a real tough game, though. The, the Swans, or the Jacks, I should say, they, they seem to give these sort of teams at the yeah. higher echelons of the Premier League a, a tough time, the likes of Manchester United, Liverpool, etc. I think they beat Liverpool yeah. earlier in the season at the Liberty. Um... <laughs> However, Manchester City, they're going to want to put on a bit of a performance for the Manchester City faithful. They're out of the Champions League, and I can see this one not really being a comfortable win, but a solid 2-0 win for Manchester City. I think Manchester City are going to want to put up, the show, put on, uh, put up a show after winning the title last week. Um, Pep's going to want to do a lot of rotating. I think can see the season out. But I think Manchester City is just going to be too strong. And for that reason, I'm going to say 4-0 Man City. <laughs> okay, so last up, Monday Night Football, we've got Everton versus Newcastle. The hardest one to predict, 10th versus 9th. Newcastle, they've won their last four or five games. They have been excellent. Um, Everton, up and down form as usual. Really tough one to predict. And there's, going to be, there's definitely going to be goals in this game, 100%. And I can see this one being a 2-2 draw. Yeah, this is a, a real tough one to predict, this uh, fixture. Newcastle in a fine run of form. Yeah. Benitez doing a, a, a good job now. He's sort of got them defensively really sound. Everton went away last week against Swansea. They were 1-0 up and yeah. the Jacks came back and they equalised 1-1. And, 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 and Swansea really could do, you know, they, that point that they did get has put them in good stead for possibly, you know, survival. Yeah. A tough one to call, like yourself, I think this is going to end in stalemate and I can see this one ending up as a 1-1. So that concludes our predictions for week 35 of this season's Premier League. It's all sewn up at the top, pretty much you know Manchester City have won the title. The likes of Liverpool, Manchester United should really be in those Champions yeah. League spots. You've got, I think it's Tottenham, Chelsea are eight points behind them with a game in hand, so really... I know Tottenham are playing in the FA Cup this weekend, Chelsea too, so it's not going to be, you know, it's not really going to be sewn up for that, that, that final place in the Champions League for a couple of weeks now or a few weeks. Things at the bottom though are really hot enough. Yeah. The likes of West Brom, unless they pull out of, you know, at least a, at four, least a win. four games on, in the next, well, until the end of yeah. the season, they're pretty much down unless they do win or draw. Amazing no, loss win. or draw means they're down anyway. Yeah, so. pretty much. So they need wins. The likes of, Stoke and Southampton, I think Stoke and um, Southampton, sorry, go away to Leicester yeah. tomorrow night, which is Thursday night. I can actually see in my Instagram mm -hmm. Instagram predictions, I actually put that down yeah. as a Southampton win. If they do do that, that will put massive pressure on Swansea, of course, mm -hmm. and it will give Southampton a fighting chance. But looking at Stoke, giving away that goal yeah. at the Olympic Stadium, mm -hmm. I can actually see Stoke going down. It's just whether... Southampton, Swansea, I think Huddersfield, I've said all along Huddersfield, even though they have got a tricky yeah. run in, I think they'll just be safe Huddersfield However, now. Huddersfield, if they get at least one, uh, one point between the remaining fixtures, then they are safe. They, they should get that, especially at yeah, home. Yeah, I do, that. they yeah. have got tough I don't fixtures. think they'll go down, though. No, so. But um, Swansea need one win, and then they're safe. And apart from that, Southampton, they need a couple of wins to be safe, so it's... 
it's really it's really looking close down there. But teams such as West Ham and both West Ham and Huddersfield on the same amount of points, but one what at least one point means they're safe. Yeah, I think so, they've just done enough. Those yeah, teams really just done enough. But it's it's going to be interesting next few weeks. Yeah, and um, so I'd say West Brom down, Stoke down, and dare I say it, Swansea. We'll yes, that's, we'll I, I agree with you as well. We'll see. Actually, I think I think West Brom definitely down. Yeah. Southampton finishing second bottom. Yeah. Swansea finishing third bottom. Really, you think Stoke will escape? Yes, somehow. I think Stoke will escape. Well, I think they've got to play Swansea as well. So. Yeah. Very interesting. So that pretty much wraps up the video for this week. Remember, I'm going to leave a template of these fixtures for the weekend in the description. All you need to do, as you usual, is copy and paste, make your predictions, and like James Carson this week, you could get a shout out in the next video. Remember to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber so you don't miss any future prediction videos or any other gaming videos, vlogs, etc. But for now, we'll bid you farewell and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.